Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, tonight I'm going to explain how I dissect the Kenner 18 inch alien action figure. Uh, as you know, uh, they produced these back in 1979 uh, after the uh, movie Alien. Uh, however, uh, these action figures were uh, short-lived on the uh, toy shelves because most of the kids I guess were not either interested in the action figure or they were getting scared so there was a brief production of these uh, action figures so and as you know later on uh, I believe this year they came out with the they made a reproduction of the same action figures but they are uh, 24 inches tall rather than the uh, 18 inches so but in my opinion um, I prefer the original 18 inch figure because that's what I grew up with and I just like everything original so what I did here was I I carefully dissected an original 18 inch alien Kenner action figure so you could see all the pieces laid out here of course I have the head we'll start with the head so as you can see the head is missing the teeth so what I did was I was lucky enough to find some teeth on uh, through uh, eBay so I will have to uh, place these in his mouth and they, they appear to be the same size and everything. I checked it. So I'll have to add those into his uh, head. And also, when I bought this action figure, it was missing this back piece. So I was able to find this piece through a uh, person that actually reproduces these uh, back pieces. So what I did was I carefully um, clicked this piece in and it fits just like the original. However, the only thing is it, it, it's, it's the color of this plastic is si slightly different. It looks like it's a little bluer than the actual black plastic from the original. And then what I did here for the tail, I tightened the tail so it's a little tighter because when I got it, it was it was really loose so I, I took a pair of pliers and, and there's like a little metal piece here I just carefully pressed it towards the plastic and now it's it's a, it's a lot tighter than it was so then you 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 see all the other parts here what I did when I got this figure it, it smelled like cigarettes at the guys whoever sent this figure to me it was uh it smelled pretty bad so I carefully cleaned everything as you can see there and then this back piece I didn't know it so I took it apart it's an actual mold I always wonder what that looked like inside so it's all molded together so it took took me about a good half hour to dissect alien here you have to do this very carefully or else you will crack this thing um, it's a it's very delicate for its age um, however I was able to get this thing disassembled very carefully so here you are these are all the parts if you ever wondered what alien looked like um, after you take him apart or dissect him uh, like example here here's the chest and you can see where the screws and everything go in and then here's the arms here's the rubber band that holds the arms together so I gotta figure out a way to make the arms a little tighter without you know doing any type of you know modification or anything so I'm gonna try to figure out something and then here's the other arm See, I got lucky here. There are no cracks or anything. He's he's a little scuffed, but that's not a problem. I cleaned him up. He looked a lot worse before. And you can see his head is a little scuffed up. So I cleaned the head the best I could. And uh, for now, I, I 
as of yet I have not figured out how to take the head apart so I'm just gonna leave the head alone and uh, it looks like inside his mouth here I don't know if you could see it uh, there's two pieces where the um, the extra set of teeth clamps right in there so I'm gonna go ahead and add those in so now I'm going to go ahead and reassemble alien okay I was able to add the teeth in uh, these are the reproduction teeth that I ordered earlier so as you can see they're now in place and what I had to use was a uh, glue gun so now they are in his mouth so now I will attempt to put alien back together so here we go I'm gonna start off with this the back piece here so I'm gonna put that in place I want to make sure it's not backwards and it also will tell you top so this will go on the top this is facing the top here so then now I'll slide the legs on here I just want to make sure that's secure again arms on Just kind of inspecting everything here. Now as you can see, I have everything in place here. I just have to put every I just have to put the back piece back on now and snap it in and then screw it on here so here's the piece so again you have to do this very very carefully because this is an old old figure there we go now it's snapped in place Still a little loose, but again, it is all cleaned up. And all I need to do is just add the screws in the back, and it should be good to go. So here's what I did so far. I again, I took everything apart. I cleaned all the parts with soap, mild soap and water. I added his teeth back in. And then I also snapped in the reproduction piece, back piece. So now he's almost complete. He just needs his, um, of course, his protective uh, plastic cover over his head which they I can find either at a toy show or possibly a reproduction part so and then the last thing I have to do is just 
put the screws back in and he should be all set. So again, thank you very much for watching my video and have a great evening and good night. Good night.